I, a really special story here. Some mm -hmm. Reds legends are going to get their own history lesson this week. Marty Brenneman and Tommy Helms will learn about their genealogy as part of a benefit, and Tom Browning has already gone through it. Yeah. Mr. Perfect is hosting the event, <laughs> but first, he's here in our studio with a preview. Tom, good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Always hey, good John. to see you. This is kind yeah. of a cool idea yeah. To, yeah. to raise money for charity. So you had who? Look into the genealogy of these Reds legends, including yourself. Uh, well, I mean, when I when I when they asked me to be part of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had to call my mom and, and uh, my brothers and whatever, and just get some um, some information. But uh, it was incredible how in detail they were, how much information they they were able to find. Uh, you know, I was there with Mike McConnell, who was related to Abraham Lincoln. Uh, <laughs> Betsy, Mike McConnell from Betsy, Betsy, right. Betsy Ross. Uh, I think she's related to Betsy Ross, and I thought, you know, <laughs> uh, the original Betsy Ross, I guess, right. that, uh, that made the flag. But uh, and I was related to John Moses Browning, who invented the 50 caliber. So and did that surprise you, or had you heard that? Was that a I always legend? wondered because it, you know. Having the Browning name and being from Wyoming, you know, I thought uh, we're probably related somehow, but I never ever looked into yeah. it and uh, and assumed because they were a Belgian company that I wasn't. And then after this genealogy thing, I said, "Oh, cool." Yeah. I haven't <laughs> called them and asked them for a free ride for anything yet. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but then, you know, the, the the really neat thing is to see how when we went all the way back to the Civil War. Wow. And, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this because. Marty and, and Tommy both are from North Carolina and get to see some history and, and hopefully we find out that they are related, uh, which would probably not make Tommy very happy, but that's okay. <laughs> to be related to Marty. But I, yeah, <laughs> but I, I look forward to, you know, just kind of hearing the stories. I'm not going to do right. a whole lot, uh, but it's really, really kind of neat as a person who, who has their genealogy looked into. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really kind of neat just to see where you go back to and who you go back to. And yeah, I, this is kind of a, 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 a companion piece to people get their DNA tested to find out, sure. you know, that sort of thing. But it, was it? I know you said that your family members, uh, they they were interviewed, that sort of thing. Was it a long process? I think time-wise it took a few months yeah. uh, to do it. But as far as the time, we, I think my mom just gave... Uh, uh, the lady in the information or, or the company that did it the information and they just kind of took it and you know and wow. took my dad's side my mom's side and went all the way back and yeah I mean it's I just think you know there, there's so much out there now I think because a lot of people like to do the genealogy mm -hmm. thing so there's you know they talk about if you go on the site and a, and a green leaf comes up well yeah. I think they got green leaves everywhere now well, because yeah. there's so many people and so right. much people were so many people yeah. involved I guess so yeah well the more the more people who get into yeah. the database the more there is available and I know with the DNA and the internet and I mean TV shows have made this really popular right. too so tell, tell us about this event on Thursday night well it's it's uh, we're gonna have Tommy and and, uh, and Marty uh -huh. uh, we're gonna in, uh, one at a time kind of like a party Oh yeah, well, I mean, this will be the first time we've done it in this in this format. Okay. I, I, I did it over in uh, Hyde Park, and I can't remember the theater there, but it wasn't a huge theater. But we're going to start it off, I think, in the Reds Hall of Fame and kind of oh. introduce, then take it up to the uh, the handlebar or the Riverfront Club where there's a little bit more room. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm not certain how many people we expect, or but I think it would be pretty neat, and it would be a nice. Uh, Nice thing to start along with uh, in, coinciding with the Reds Hall of Fame. Yeah, and I think that a lot of people would, would be interested to see a little bit about the background. You know, uh, they, they see it and they hear you guys all the time and they want to know uh, about your history. They want to yeah. know about who, more about you and your family. Yeah, I mean, I, it's uh, well, and, and I think Marty will, will enjoy it as well, as well as Tommy, and yep. because it's neat to hear about your own history that, right. you know, we just didn't take the time to look up or look back, and they, yeah. you know, but it's really kind of. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes you proud to see where you came from and, right. and you know, what parts of the world your your, your family came from and yeah. uh, who was in the Civil War and who wasn't. And yeah. So it's Thursday and the event supports the, the Reds Hall of Fame and also the, the Hyde, Hyde Park, Park Center, Center for, for Older Adults. Yes, so it's it good. It's and at Great American Ballpark Thursday at 6.30 and we've got the info at local12.com. Tommy, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks, Thank Tom. you, John. That Thank was you, fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Uh,